made mysterious strikes on Iran's military facilities. Several Iranian military facilities were attacked overnight on January 29th. Arab media outlets claim that Israel has launched a special military operation against Tehran in order to crush its defense industry. The Iranian leadership is in no rush to blame Tel Aviv, while Israel is not commenting on these events. Israel's involvement in the incidents cannot be ruled out, but it is still early to assert it, says chief researcher at the Moscow State Institute of of International Relations, Andrei Kazantsev. An attack on Iran's nuclear facilities would have been a more definite indication of Tel Aviv's hand. As for the events in the early hours of January 29, the list of suspects can be rather long because Iran's relations with its Arab neighbors are not particularly stellar. According to the expert, the responsibility may lie with the groups opposing the current government in Iran itself or with Saudi Arabia, which is capable of organizing a drone attack on Iran's military facilities and then shifting the blame to Israel. As for the US, like Israel, it strongly believes that Iran should not have any nuclear weapons. According to him, this is why US involvement would have been more likely had Iran's nuclear facilities been attacked. Rumors aside, at the end of the day, this is a confirmed attempt of sabotage using drones against some buildings of the Iranian Defense Ministry in Isfahan, says military expert Yuri Layamin, reiterating that such attacks had occurred before. For example, in May 2022, drones attacked an Iranian military research center in Parchin near Tehran with the Iranian side reporting one employee killed. In 2021, there was a drone attack on the plant production components for uranium enrichment centrifuges in Karaj, the expert added. A fire at an engine oil factory that broke out on the night of January the 29th occurred at the same time as a 5.9 magnitude earthquake hit. There was no information as to what triggered the blaze, but it is possible that it was related to the earthquake, the expert thinks. 